bike who he was alone as well. And that uh, an outsider, if you like. And I used to see him on his bike and what has anybody been to Muzzle Hill? Muzzle Hill? Yeah. But at the top of the hill there's a, a roundabout and uh well, there's a bus depot or something now. Uh, but um he used to drive his bike round this roundabout, like, and then go faster and faster. And one day, I didn't see it, but I heard the, his footrest hit the road, the tarmac or whatever, and, and he flew down the hill, and that was the end of that Johnny Thunder. But Ray's got another Johnny Thunder, which is probably nearer the version that he'd like <coughs> To, to pick, but he's not here to sell. Mind you, I just see Ray on the way out, um, and he said, "If you need, need anything, call me." <laughs> in the middle of the talk. What? In the middle of the talk, he's suggesting. But anyway, but yeah. What were we, what were we talking about? We're talking Ray? about uh, Wicked well, Annabella. But I'd also wanted to ask. No, then Johnny Thunder. The other character I wanted to ask you about is Monica. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it's, um, I can't say there was an actual person. There were probably quite a few, actually, that were, were like, uh, like Monica. I always saw her as a, a very kind of be beautiful, untouchable lady. But I like the idea that she could be a little bit of a night person, you know, as well, so. It's very, a very colourful character, Monica, and I love painting her as well. I can't show you a picture of it. But it's in the book. They're all in there. Should we show the audience? Um, if this is open, should we, sh yeah. Are you maybe. using it as a prop? I'll leave it. Let's, I can do it later on. Let's get, let's, um, maybe, maybe, uh, Towards the end, it would be a good time to do it. Um, we all love Village Green, and we all know that what a masterpiece it is. It's, you know, it's, it's one of those rare, sacred albums. When it came out, this was 68, it was a very tumultuous year, and it, it, didn't, it wasn't a big hit. If you don't mind me saying. Were you surprised? I mean, did everyone think this is, did everyone know that it's this is a great really album? It's funny, you know, it's like, um I didn't really mind that much. I thought it was so good, and I was so glad that we finished it. And Ray seemed very happy with it, and it seemed like an achievement in in itself just to finish something that important or that good. It didn't really matter me that whether it was a success or you know. It's like things mature and change, and you you can't have everything as an instant, you know. Thing and um, it, strangely enough, it, it didn't bother me because I kind of knew one day <laughs> had the feeling one day it would resurface and people would understand what it's all about the album or maybe it as well. Well, the strange thing about Village Green, or one of the things, is that on one level it's so specific, you have these characters and it's very colorful, like I said, it's got this childlike quality. Yeah, it's universal, and it's timeless, and it doesn't—it hasn't dated in the way that a lot of albums at that time did. Well, I think it's to do with the the. the it's uh, it's very personal, really. I mean, we've all we all go through the different emotions, and we we all love the rebel. We all love. Is he going to break through and find some new knowledge or? And we, we live with these people, our own versions of village green characters. And I think that's why, um, why um, people love it and they learn to love it and mature with it is because it, it, it strikes a cold in the subconscious or in our feelings. That, oh, it reminds me of someone I knew. Maybe we all have a, like a village green a cluster these images and, and feelings that we need to express more. And I think 
I think so, at that time, as, as you were saying, Will, there were so many albums out. I mean, <laughs> at least the Kinks were being really creative. I mean, Beatles, well, they just put a white label on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they've run out of ideas, I thought. <laughs> Where were you on the cover? Was that Hampstead Heath on the cover? I'm the, sorry? The cover of the photo. Photo cover, that must have been Hampstead Heath. Um, the back is like Kenwood. It's yeah, still, Kenwood. It's still yeah. very much like that in a lot of ways. Very be beautiful place. So I wanted to play... It's a big British red green, that big part. Yeah, it's a very big British green, it's just up the road. So there's um, one more kink song that I wanted to play a blast of before play some uh, some solo material, and that is Big Sky. <laughs> <laughs> 